Cockleshell Bay is a town near the sea with seagulls and sunshine and sound. There are shops that sell ices and bright coloured kites that will fly from a string in your hand. There are white painted houses along the seafront and one's called the Bucket and Spade. It's where people stay and two children play with all the good friends that they've made. So meet Robin and Rosie of Cockleshell Bay. Mr. Ship. Oh, hello, my dears. <laughs> Come a visit and have you? Yes. Has the postman been, Mr. Ship? Postman? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, Rosie. Only you've got so many parcels, Mr. Ship. Parcels? Oh, <laughs> why, they ain't a coming in, my dear. <laughs> They're a going out. Going out? Hmm. I'm having a clear out. Getting rid of rubbish. These here cardboard boxes is just rubbish. Gosh, this one's huge. I can only reach the bottom if I stretch and stretch and... Oof! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you, you all right, Rosie? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Hey, I'm in a submarine. Hey, yeah. Stand by to dive. Oh, very good. Here, Robin, you'd better try one for size and all. Oh, yeah, great. This one. <laughs> right, go on, then. Oh, it's got a lid on it. I'll just fold this back. And... and this. And... Uh, hey, look! Wings! It's an aeroplane! Ready for takeoff! Here we go! <laughs> well, I never. A submarine and an aeroplane in my old boatyard at the same time. <laughs> I'm coming up from the sea now. Bubble, 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 bubble. Yeah, and, and I'm going to land my jet. Landing, landing, wheels down, bump. I'm down. Welcome back, the pair of you. I hope you had a good trip. <laughs> yes. yes, thanks. Well, uh, here, I got a long, thin box here. Oh, yes. Now then, that'd fit the pair of you. Oh, yeah, it would. Hey, come on, Rosie. Mmm, great. Hey, can I sit in front? Yeah, OK. <laughs> and what are you in now, hey? Oh, it's a, it's a two-seater jet plane. No, it's not. It's a two-seater submarine. It is not. There's no such thing. I bet there is. There isn't. Here, here, hold on. If you two's going to argue, I'll have my boxes back. Oh, oh sorry, Mr. Ship. Ship. Well, bless my barnacles, I should hope so. Can't you think of something as you could both be in? Hmm? Um, well, uh, uh, what about... Uh, no. Hmm. Oh, let's... Oh, yeah, I know. What? It could be a canoe. Oh, yeah, great, a two-seater canoe. Ah, well, now, I knows about canoes. <laughs> and I knows as you needs a paddle apiece. Here, hang on. Gosh, fancy Mr. Ship knowing about canoes. Yeah, I know. Still, he knows all about big boats, and I suppose canoes are just little big boats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Uh, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but uh, they'll do. Oh, oh great. great. Thank Thanks. you, Mr. Ship. Now we can paddle up the river. Yeah. Splash. 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 There. Paddle. Uh. Oh. Hey. 
Mr. Ship? Yes, my dear? How do you know about canoes? I've been in them when I was in Africa. Gosh, Africa? Aha! Sailed up the river Rubangi, I did, in a great big canoe made out of a tree trunk with the middle hollowed out. Gosh! Oh, look here. What? Just what I seen from that big canoe on the Ubangi. Crocodiles. Crocodiles? Ah, crocodiles are swimming in the water, like logs with teeth swimming nearer to the canoe. Oh, crumbs, what should we do? Well, you'd better do what we did when we was there. What, Mr. Ship? Oh, well, you'd better bang them on the nose with your paddles. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ooh, get off, crocodiles. Uh, go on, shoot. Shoo! Go on! <clears throat> Take that! Uh, hooray! Oh, uh, what, Rosie? We scared them off. Oh, yes! Hooray! <laughs> well done! Well done! What a brave pair, frightening off a monster like that! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's given me an idea, that has. An idea, Mr. Ship? What for? Yeah, and what's given you an idea? Oh, well, talking about monsters. That's given me an idea. <laughs> we ain't never had a monster in Cockleshell Bay. Uh, no. No, and it's time as we did. Now then, I shall need some paint for this and a couple of boxes. Bless my particles. <laughs> That's the monstrous monster as ever I seen. Oh, great. Are you all right under there? Yeah. <laughs> right then. Well, now it's time for our monster to visit the bucket and spade guest house. Oh, great. Right, Robin. One, two, three. Up. Off we go then. <laughs> well, follow me, Mr. Monster. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> for lunch. Yes, I have. <laughs> and I'm going to eat you up, too. Ooh, lovers, Mr. Ship. It's got two voices. Oh, <laughs> a remarkable monster it is, and no mistake. Oh, well, oh, it is a pity as how it's eaten Robin and Rosie, and an even greater pity if it ate me. Uh, why? Cause then, Mr. Monster, you'd have no room left for cheese and chutney sandwiches. Uh, cheese and chutney? Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens! It's Robin and Rosie! Oh, you knew. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> I loved your monster, though. <laughs> Mr. Ship made it. Wow, it's lovely. And has it eaten enough, or is it still hungry, eh? Oh, Gran, it's starving. I thought he might be. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Robin and Rosie left the monster fast asleep in the sun, and they all went in for lunch.